Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. In this episode, we're gonna have a look at something that I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. You see, in the latest update of AUM, we finally now have support for AUV3 multi-out routing which means that we can finally use the sidechain compression function inside apps like the plugins from FabFilter and also Tone Boosters EQ. This is very good news, but what's even better news is that if you are low on cash and you want to try out these sidechain compression techniques that I'm showing you in this video, well, you can just go and get Rough Rider 3. You see, Rough Rider was recently updated by Audio Damage, who makes the plugin, of course, and it now has support for sidechain compression through this new AUV3 multi out routing system. And I I'm so tired of saying that long thing. We, we have to find like a shorter term to, to say instead of a UV3 multi-out routing. It's just, ugh. Yeah, let's just do a quick um, intro here. Did it doom 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 boom 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 boom. Yeah. And let's get to the tutorial. All right, so normally in my AUM tutorials, I always start from scratch, but not this time. I want to save some time, so I've already set up a session, but I'll try to explain everything that's going on here. So what I've got here right now are three channels, and the one to the far left we can ignore because that's my microphone channel. I just set it up so that it's easy for me to record this part of the video. So what we're going to be focusing on are these two channels here. And I've named this one drum and the other one lead. And that's exactly what I've got here. At the top where we have the insert slots, I've loaded audio files. So it sounds pretty nice, but it's gonna sound even nicer once we've set up our sidechain compression thing here. And so we're going to begin by loading two instances of Rough Rider 3. So we tap the insert effect slot, go to audio unit, scroll down to audio damage, and then locate Rough Rider 3 right there. Tap that, and there it's loaded. We do the same thing on the third channel with the lead sound here. And we go down and find Rough Rider 3, and there we go. We want the plugin here, the Rough Rider 3 instance here on the lead channel to listen to what's going on on this channel here with the drums. Now we're gonna need another insert effect slot, but as you can see, they're all filled out. So we need to tap on the line here. You can see I'm dragging it up and down. And if I drag it far enough, there's a plus sign popping up right there. And we just need to tap it. And there we go. Okay, so now we tap this slot and we go down to the option saying Multibus Audio Unit Instances. And when we tap that, we can see that we have two instances of Rough Rider 3. Now, what's really important here is the numbering. So the first number here where it says A2 and A3, this is telling you which channel this plugin is loaded on. And if we look here, we can see that we have three channels. So the first one is A1, second one is A2, and the third one is A3. And we want to send the signal to Rough Rider on this channel. So that's A3. So we're going to do just that. Choose Rough Rider 3 A3 1. And now it's sending the signal from this channel into this one. So hopefully you understand what the A2 and A3 means. However, there is a second number there, and that was the number after the A3. And in order to get what that means, I'm going to add another FX slot right there, go in here and load another instance of Rough Rider. So now we have two instances of Rough Rider. And here it would get confusing unless you paid attention to the numberings. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to remove the thing we set up here. And you do that by tapping and holding on it and dragging it sideways to the left. You see this icon and now we can unload whatever is loaded there. So if we enter here and go to the Multibus Audio Unit Instance uh, menu, we can now see that we have three items. However, look closely at the numbering. A2, 1, A3, 1, and A3, 2. 
And A32 is that second compressor we loaded right there. And even if I add another insert effect slot here, and I choose another plugin from another developer, like uh, the compressor from FabFilter, well, if we go in here and we go to the Multibus Audio Unit Instances, we can see that it says Pro C2, so it's easy to find. However, look at the numbering, A3, three because it's the third thing we've got loaded in the FX slots on channel three. If you just keep focused on the numberings, then you'll always be able to find exactly where to route what. Okay, so there I've removed everything. And once again, I'm just gonna set it up so that this channel sends the signal into this channel. So we go in here, multibus, and then Rough Rider 3, A3, one. Okay, so I'm about to press play, but first I'm gonna open the Rough Rider plugin on the lead channel and turn on the external sidechain thing. And every plugin that supports this type of function has its own switch somewhere in their app. Right here, it's here. Turn that on and we're good to go. Okay, so the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that the attack is short and that the release is mm, kind of short. You know what? Let's uh, let's kick this up a notch. And if you were wondering how I made the music, I was using an app called Figure to make this. So I basically made this while I was um, on the subway on my way home from the store. Yeah, had picked up some groceries and I got this idea in my head, recorded it here. When I came home, I just exported all of the um, like the the instruments individually uh, through to uh, WAV files, and then I just imported them into AUM and started processing them with. Well, you've just seen what I've done. So um, yeah, it's a great app. It's uh, free and you should check it out. It's a great way of storing some of your ideas. Bass, lead and drums, that's basically what you need when you're producing EDM to start off with anyway. So why not? Well, there you go. That's how you set it up. Now you know the basics of it and I hope you do utilize it because it's a really useful technique for more than just doing uh, this kind of compression pumping. Even though this is uh, right now in this video related to something you can do inside AUM, this is something that I hope that every developer out there that develops audio unit extension hosts will include into their code. Hey. Hey, Steinberg, I would love to have this implemented into Cubasis. I really do hope that this becomes a standard practice for all audio unit host developers out there. Because if it does, we will probably see more third-party audio unit plugin developers start using this system. Well, if you found this video helpful, then why not support this channel by hitting that like button. And if you didn't like the video or didn't find it helpful in any way, then you always have the thumbs down. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to support me in any other way, then you could always share my videos with other people who might want to know how to use this stuff inside AUM. And you can also always check out these uh, links here on the side if you want to support me in a financial way. 
Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have some fun doing sidechain compression.